Hey, what's up, guys? Drake Garibay here for GaribayComputer.com. Welcome back to another tech tip of the day. Today, I'm going to be discussing an amazing program called Deep Freeze. What this program does is put your computer in a completely frozen state. Once it's in that state, any changes you make to your computer are completely reverted upon reboot, and that's all it takes just to restart. So, in order to make permanent changes to your system, you have to put it in a thawed state or unfrozen state. By the way, you can download an evaluation of the program directly from their website link will be in the description you're just going to click this evaluate link right here so let's pop open my virtual XP machine here is the folder with the installation file very light program yet very powerful I recommend placing this folder on your C drive and in program files it's kind of a manual installation the way you install it. Once it's in your program files, you just access the folder, run this executable here. Choose next. I accept the agreement next. Don't have a key, just gonna go ahead and use the evaluation. Right here is you will select every drive you want to be affected. I only have one drive on this computer. That drive is already selected. I recommend selecting all your drives, of course. Choose next and install once the program is installed it will automatically reboot your system then you will be asked by deep freeze to set the master password choose yes it's very important you do not lose this password if you lose this password your computer will be stuck in a frozen state and you will never be able to make any permanent changes to it unless of course you reformat reinstall your whole entire system which I'm sure that's something you don't want to have to do once you set the password it will want to reboot your computer yet again after setting the master password and you're back to your desktop you will notice that there's this little polar bear icon in the bottom right system tray. That's an indication that Deep Freeze is installed on your system. Now that it is installed and running, any changes I make to my computer will not be saved. So for example, let's go ahead and uninstall Steam from my system. Let's go ahead and uninstall Flash Player. and let's go ahead and create a bunch of text files on my desktop now keep in mind that this goes for any changes to your system so let's say you deleted some registry files or you got a virus or malware it does not matter as long as your system's in a frozen state you're good to go all you have to do is reboot and when the system comes back it should be right back the way that it was originally frozen Okay, so my system is just rebooted. As you can see, all those text files are gone. And if we go back to our add or move programs, you will see that Flash Player and Steam were never uninstalled. Now, let's say I want to make some permanent changes that I want to actually stick. You can hold down the shift key on your keyboard and double left click on your Phronix icon. Enter your master password and what you want to do is boot thawed then choose apply and reboot once your system boots thawed you can make permanent changes to your system and you can also uninstall Phronix deep freeze if you want let's go ahead and hit apply and reboot once your system boots up in thawed mode you will notice that the polar bear icon has this little red icon next to it that's an indication that you are in thawed mode that your computer is completely vulnerable and any changes will stick be very careful when you're in thawed mode also when you're in thawed mode you can uninstall your Phronix deep freeze the way you do that is you access the executable files wherever you place them so as for me I put them on my C drive put them under program files and Phronix DFS you just run this executable file again and instead of installing it will detect that it's already installed and it will give you this option to uninstall it 
So that's just a little FYI for anyone that is wondering how to uninstall Deep Freeze if you want to. That's going to wrap up this tech tip of the day. I want to thank you all for watching and make sure you stay tuned for the next episode.